Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Premiere scripting quick tip tutorial. This is probably going to be the quickest quick tip tutorial ever and we're going to be going over how many ticks there are in a second inside of a time object for Premiere. If you're not already familiar, Premiere deals with time objects which contain both seconds and ticks as parameters. These are directly correlated properties but we're going to go over how you can create them based on the ticks individually. Before we get started, I do want to remind you, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub to get updates on code and Instagram to get other cool updates as well. If you haven't already, join the Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can also help support us on YouTube by becoming a channel member uh, with a VIP, premium supporter, supporter, or member status and get cool perks. So the time object in Premiere. If you read a layer's start time, endpoint, or any other time information, it's going to return a time object, which has both the property ticks and seconds. Seconds are pretty obvious to understand. That's what we see visible in the timeline, but the ticks can also be used as well. For every second in Premiere, there are 254 billion and 16 million ticks. So if I compose a new time object and give it that exact amount, 254 billion, 16 million ticks, and I alert uh, the information, I'm going to first alert time and get the time object. But if I grab the seconds out of that, I'm going to get one. If I were to just give this a random other number, I'm probably going to get a totally different value, as you can see. So it's very important that you know that this exact number is the number of ticks. Say you receive a time object with some grand number like this, you can simply take 254 billion and divide it by that to get how many seconds it is. So if I actually take this number here and I open a calculator and multiply it out by like 15 and then paste this number, I should get 15 seconds as you can see. So you can also now define things based on the amount of ticks they are if you want or convert between ticks and seconds and make your life in Premiere a lot easier. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on Instagram and GitHub to get updates on code and when videos go live. If you're not already joining the Discord server, be sure to join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can also become a channel member to help support us and get cool perks as a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on YouTube. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.